Welcome to UC Santa Cruz. We're so excited that you're joining us as a new graduate student. I know firsthand the power of higher education, UC in particular, to transform the lives of students, to level the playing field for students from all backgrounds, but especially those of us who are first generation and from low income families. We're here to support you and want you to have every success in your work. As graduate students, you will play a vital role in teaching, learning, and research. We are the place where you will develop your professional careers, where we will try to support you in as many ways as we can as you enter into your coursework, as you complete your coursework, and importantly, as you gain the professional skills that you'll need as you finish your degrees. Check out the graduate division and you will find the development resources that I think you'll be looking for. The Office of Graduate Studies is designed to help you administratively navigate the campus through your time here at UCSC. And our goal here is to make sure that all students are welcome and have the tools necessary to navigate through their time here in graduate school. Forms of institutional support that are available can be in the form of fellowships, graduate student research assistantships, or as a teaching assistant, depending on the availability of funds and the recommendation of the student's department. Your first contact for support is your graduate program. But Graduate Division provides important cross-campus support, including Regents Fellowships, Chancellor's Fellowships, Coda Robles Fellowships, Tuition Fellowships, and Dissertation Year Fellowships. And don't hesitate to take advantage of our many services associated with the graduate enterprise here at UC Santa Cruz. The Graduate Division also supports graduate writing assistance. We support professional communications development. And many of you will directly have an impact on our teaching and learning community as well. Many of you will serve as teaching assistants and as graduate student researchers or as research assistants. So you will actively play a role with our undergraduate students. Our Center for Innovation and Teaching and Learning is here to help you become the best teachers you can possibly be, to be thoughtful and reflective in your pedagogy. And we'll work with you and to help you develop those skills. Most of you will come to graduate school without having taught before, and many of you will begin teaching almost immediately upon arrival on campus. The Campus Teaching Center, the Center for Innovations in Teaching and Learning, or the CITL, is the one-stop campus resource for supporting you in your teaching roles on campus. You'll be trained as a teaching assistant in your department before you go in and teach. And if you should come to teach your own course later in your career, CITL has resources on how to develop a course and deliver it for the first time. We have placed a trained TA trainer in every department on campus, and they will help prepare you for your first teaching assistant assignment. We have specialized teaching certificates in inclusive teaching, universal design for learning, and teaching with technology that are available to any graduate student who would like to take them. And we offer one-on-one -on -one consultations for any new opportunity or challenge that you encounter in your graduate career. We've developed toolkits for graduate students to help them enter into the mentoring relationships that are so essential to master's and doctoral study. On the CITL website, you'll find resources for both mentors and mentees to make sure that mentoring relationships on campus are healthy and successful. And don't hesitate to come see us at CITL if we can serve you in any way. Ensuring graduate students succeed underpins all the work that we do here at UC Santa Cruz. We support graduate student health and well-being, their career aspirations, accessibility, and their basic needs. We also have the Disability Resource Center. You'll also hear that known as the DRC. This provides access and ensures your education is equitable even if you come to campus with a disability. It's important to us that you feel safe and secure and supported on our campus. And even as a TA, you might come to the Disability Resource Center or ask for a consultation. As a TA, you may have students that do have disabilities and you'll need to work with the Disability Resource Center to make sure that they have equal access. There might be an accommodation that you'll have to work through for a lab, for example. Some of our students have service animals. You're going to see a variety of different needs and accommodations that we require our graduate students to implement as a TA. We're research support librarians and you can get in touch with us to help with your research needs 
either in person or you can reach us on our website, library.ucasc.edu, and the Ask a Librarian link will be able to reach us with any questions you have. And we'll begin with the consultation. We can usually assist you with research questions, getting started with our collections, but we can also refer you to Digital Scholarship Commons, which is where you can continue your research into digital scholarship and methodologies. The library helps grad students stay organized with their research by offering workshops multiple times per year on things such as Zotero, a citation management software tool, and data management workshops to help you stay organized with the data that you're collecting. The library has a number of ways to help. We're um, aware of all the services that we have here and we can make referrals whether it's to Digital Scholarship Commons or Archives and Special Collections. At our library, we're very lucky to be able to be part of the University of California system where we have 10 campuses that collaborate closely with our resources. We can not only have access to online resources across the UC system, but we also can do interlibrary loan requests to other libraries. So as a student here, you can request books from UC Berkeley, UCLA, and they will be delivered to the library of your choice. The Graduate Student Commons is a building centrally located on campus in the Quarry Plaza that serves as the central hub of graduate student life. In this building, we host a myriad of social events and workshops, and the building is accessible 24 hours a day, seven days a week, for you to hold office hours or to study or even just to socialize with your fellow graduates. When I first moved to Santa Cruz from my home in Virginia, I felt lost for a long time. The general adjustment period to grad school and a new town was really difficult for me. So when I started to become more involved in the grad student community on campus and started attending more events at the Grad Student Commons, I really started to see that change. I started to make friends in other departments. I began building my social and professional network, and I think that this really did help increase my sense of belonging at UCSC. And this gave me the strength and resilience to continue to pursue my PhD over the past several years. The Graduate Student Commons Governing Board consists of student representatives from the five academic divisions, and we serve to manage the building as well as plan and host social events, professional development, as well as health and wellness events open to the entire graduate community. You can get involved with the Governing Board by attending one of our monthly meetings. WISE aims to improve the equity diversity, and inclusion of people in the sciences. We really want to demonstrate to the public that anybody can be a scientist. WISE serves the graduate students at UCSC through a number of events, including our Science on Tap series, our WISE Reading Group, and our WISE Naturalist Group. We also do a number of outreach activities in the community where we demonstrate to the public at large that anyone can be a scientist. Grad students can get involved in WISE just by coming to our events. We really want to build a community of supportive people here at UCSC for grad students. You can also volunteer at our outreach events or you can become an officer if you really want to organize and lead some of the events. In order to do my field work in Antarctica, I have to undergo extensive medical examinations in order to be considered physically qualified to go. And I was able to do all of my medical examinations, my blood work, and my dental examinations on the UCSC campus through the UCSC Health Center. We have a full service student health clinic with pharmacy, optometry, dental, radiology, and nutrition. The Student Health Center also includes counseling and psychological services. We call that CAPS. Student Health Outreach Programs, we call that SHOP. We have six resource centers focused on student community and engagement. The African American Resource and Cultural Center, American Indian Resource Center, Asian American Pacific Islander Resource Center, the Cantu Queer Center, El Centro Chicanx Latinx Resource Center, and the Women's Center. All have programming for grad students, workshops, panels, and it's a great place to hang out at all those centers. I had the opportunity throughout my time as a grad student to work at the Women's Center, and through that role, I was able to collaborate with grad interns across the various resource centers, such as the Chicano Latino Resource Center, the African American Resource Center, and through those collaborations, we put together events for grad students, such as wellness events, with the purpose of building community, 
um, developing a sense of belonging and really celebrating our cultural roots and identity. I strongly believe that to survive as a grad student, it is super important to develop community both inside and outside of your department, especially if you are a member of a historically marginalized group. The Office for Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion collaborates with campus partners to promote and foster a campus climate that values and understands the importance of supporting diversity, equity, and inclusive practices. The office supports the graduate student experiences through an array of workshops and activities that we offer. Specifically, we have the ODEI dialogue series. We offer workshops on microaggressions and any other workshops focused on diversity, equity, and inclusion. The Office for Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion offers one certificate, and that's the Diversity and Inclusion Certificate Program. It's a very popular program here on campus. Graduate students will be taking courses where you will learn a lot of valuable skills on inclusive practices and workplace environments and learning environments, and that includes lab environments. There's a list of core classes that you will have to take. Among those core classes include power, privilege, and oppression, supporting our queer and trans communities, and race, a brief history of an idea. You also have electives that you can choose from, and among those electives, that includes challenging Islamophobia and supporting our international scholars and students. As a social justice-minded campus, the principles of community are integral to our mission. The principles of community are intended to be lived through our everyday communication practices, and they include our commitment to supporting diversity and to understanding how diversity enhances our campus community, which is furthered by our openness and being purposeful, caring, just, disciplined, and creative. Specific student success programs and centers include the Dean of Students Office, which includes SLUG support and the Basic Needs Initiative. These address food insecurity, emergency housing, and financial need. Second Harvest a Food Bank is a partner in that program. They also um, are working with us on pop-up pantries. We're doing a pop-up pantry now at the Graduate Student Commons. And there are other food pantries around campus, all accessible, easy, simple, drop in and grab a bag. The GSA serves the interests of our grad student population by representing grad concerns to faculty, admin, and staff, and to groups across the statewide UC. We fight for the interests of grad students with regard to things like tuition and fees, housing, international underrepresented and other marginalized students' issues, childcare, and many more. In addition, the GSA organizes and co-sponsors events that benefit grads, and has a travel grants program. Grads can join the GSA by becoming a department representative or just attending a council meeting, which are four times a quarter. This year, the GSA is going to be fighting for a cost of living allowance for UCSC to adjust our salaries to bring us up to parity with universities like UC Merced. Come along to a meeting where we'll be discussing and strategizing around these issues. The UAW Local 2865 is a union that represents more than 19,000 tutors, readers, graduate student instructors, and teaching assistants at the University of California. All graduate students, regardless of citizenship or field of study, are eligible to join the union by signing a membership card. Our union negotiates and enforces our contract with the university to protect student workers. We organize for fellow workers' needs, strategizing on campaigns important to academic student employees like access to affordable housing, and we build community and create solidarity. As Audre Lorde writes, without community, there is no liberation. Our union sees itself as part of a broader movement for justice, understanding that an injury to one is truly an injury to all. The union works through participation of its members. Come to our monthly membership meetings to learn more about how you can get involved. So as a grad student, you're going to have career aspirations, thinking about what you want to do beyond your program. Your department's going to be a great partner in helping you navigate that. So some of you may decide that you want a career outside academia. Our career center is here to support you. We do workshops on resumes, writing cover letters for an industry position, and we'll meet one-to-one -one with graduate students to support them applying for different jobs. 
So whether you're here to pursue a one-year master's degree or your PhD, UC Santa Cruz is ready to support you in all of your efforts and help you be successful. I know that your time here will transform you uh, and change the way you look at the world and yourselves. And as a graduate of UCSC, you'll have a profound impact on the world.